What's going on today, guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm your host, Absolutely Normal Man, and today we'll be checking out AI. I know, I'm sorry. We're gonna be checking in on AI and see how AI is doing. Is it better than us yet? I don't think so but let's find out. So I got word of this new tool today called Music Gen. I know what you guys are thinking. This image is amazing. It's for deep learning research on audio generation. That's a very vague description of what they're trying to do, right? Deep learning research on audio generation. What are you gonna do with the research though? Let's say you're just doing research and that's the end of it. We're just doing research and we're done. Anyways, it's a text to music model. Now I'm not exactly sure what some of this means here. I'll read it to you guys. And maybe you guys can figure it out because I don't fucking know. It's a simple and controllable model for music generation. All right, I got that. Music Gen is a single stage auto regressive transformer model trained over a 32 kilohertz encodec tokenizer. You already lost me here. You already lost me. I, I got nothing. The four code books sampled at 50 hertz. I know what these, these frequencies are, but I have no idea what they mean in this context. Unlike existing methods like Music LM, Music Gen doesn't require a self-supervised semantic representation. I know what these individual words mean. When you throw them all together, I'm completely lost. So I guess what they're saying is it doesn't require a sample to begin with or an audio source to begin with. You can just describe what you want. They use 20,000 hours of licensed music to train Music Gen. Specifically, we rely on an internal data set of 10K high quality music tracks and on the Stutterstock and Pond5 music data. So if you want to install it yourself, Python, PyTorch, and a GPU with at least 16 gigabytes of memory, or you can just use their website. So we're gonna be using their website, obviously, because that's gonna be a lot easier. So you can do text to music, and you can also bring in a melody too. So you can influence it with the melody as well as your description. But you know, we'll, maybe we'll be hating today. Maybe we'll, we'll be praising. I'm not 100% certain yet. I feel like the I feel like the level of what you can craft with this will be very dependent on your ability to describe what you are looking for. So I might struggle with this a little bit, but I'm gonna try my best. Now, obviously website looks like shit in dark mode. You can blame them, not me. Although maybe they didn't intend it for dark mode, but if they're not using dark mode, I don't know what's wrong with these people. I'll link in the description if anyone wants to check it out. I have no affiliation with them. There's nothing for me to gain from doing this video. I just thought it'd be an interesting video idea. So I'm just gonna go straight up with the text at first. Dubstep. Deep dubstep, extremely unstable bass line, and hard hitting syncopated drums, whiny, sparse, solid. Connection aired out. Are you fucking serious right now? <laughs> Not off to a good start. All right, let's try that again. So, first criticism takes a while. Definitely takes a while. So, am I finally on board with AI? No, don't really care. I think it's all stupid, but it's what's happening. So, we have to investigate. If there's like an AI that's actually useful to me in some way, Sure, I might use it. I mean, guess I guess you could generate a sample or something with this, but I mean, my experience so far with these tools is they're also lifeless. All right, we're off to a very bad start here. Not a deep dubstep track. It's an unstable baseline, but not in the way I was hoping. That is the muddiest bass I think I've ever heard. Okay, deep dubstep producers, I think you're safe. Okay, let's try this again, because that was terrible. Um, Jay Dilla influenced boom bap. Uh, would you call this stuff boom bap? Heavy swung drums, funky electric piano, and fart noises? Uh, can't do that. Okay. Oh, one thing I want to want to mention here, if you download this, it downloads as an MP4 in like the lowest file size ever. 157 kilobytes. Like, okay, let's test this out here. I mean, the idea is kind of there. I mean, it all sounds so vague and rough though, you know? I feel like it's kind of got the rhythm down. That's kind of sick. I feel like the rhythm is like too like fucked up though. I mean, I feel like this is a decent idea. It's referencing something though. Like it's, I think it's already an idea. The melodic shit just sounds so vague. It's like, it doesn't know what it wants to do. It actually did like a flute instead of an electric piano. <laughs> what if I type in, I don't know, surprise me. I'm really curious to see what it does here. Throw a curveball at it. All right, well, I'm definitely surprised. I don't know what I was expecting. I mean, so far it seems like in terms of electronic music, this this is terrible. It, actually, I would say almost all music. It, it was really hard to tell though, cause it's just so low quality. Funky guitar loop with beautiful, complex jazz chords. Wait, that, I feel like we're getting pretty... Honestly, I'd probably hate all this stuff less if there were less AI bros. I feel like AI bros just completely sully this shit. Hey, 
it just all feels so vague. I mean, I wasn't, ex I, I was, I didn't think there was gonna be drums in here. I just said funky guitar loop. This drum pattern is amazing. I don't know, man. <sighs> I'm not really impressed. Maybe the Google one is better. I don't know. I asked for an invite to it. They never, they never let me in. They're like, fuck no. We looked you up. We know who you are, Weaver Beats. Never. You're never getting in. Even when it comes out, you're never getting in. God, I don't even, I'm, I'm at a loss here. Okay, now I'm gonna start dragging in some samples. I'm gonna try dragging like a good sample. Um, I'm gonna use like a Gokami sample or something. Harmonic trap beat with hard hitting 808 bass with room for a rapper to rap <laughs> all right let's see what he does here all right i'm just gonna start throwing in random jokes here and there keep it on its toes you know what i mean i feel like the demo they showed of this was way more impressive than what i'm actually experiencing right now It actually made the sample sound worse. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Is AI music always gonna be this garbled, vague sounding, soulless shit? I don't know. At, at this point though, like in the past year, I don't know if I've ever really been impressed. So far, AI visual stuff has come a lot further, but AI audio stuff has not really been super impressive. I mean, I know there's like the AI drum generator, um, that was okay. And then like all the AI mixing stuff, it's okay. Uh, it seems to make a lot of errors. Like, you know, if it's artificial intelligence, it's not actually very intelligent from what I can gather. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. With Memphis rap vocals. <laughs> oh yeah, we gotta ask it to make funk next. I think that's, uh, that's gonna be our next thing. Some drift funk, gotta clarify there. All right, let's try this. Are you guys feeling the motion there? I can't say I'm really feeling the motion there unless unless the, the motion I'm supposed to feel is like apathy and just like completely empty inside. Not feeling, I'm not feeling anything there. It seems like it's not capable of doing like harmonies or anything. I wonder if it'll sound better if it's at a higher bit rate maybe because this is a really low quality file. Compare that to the sample again. And maybe this thing is good at flipping samples, right? Maybe that's Maybe that's what we need to use it for. Drift funk with hard hitting drums, lots of cowbell, hard hitting 808s, and Memphis rap vocals. Don't have high hopes. We're gonna, no sample. That snare though. Finally brought in the snare for that one hit. Interesting, there's no cowbell. What music did they train this on? Okay, let's try a few more. Nirvana inspired dream pop ballad. <laughs> Just throwing, throwing shit at the wall with it. With synth punk cybernetic bass. That is so hard, we both shit our pants. And a drop so hard, it kills your kid. Not my kid, your kid. My kid's safe. My kid's safe though. All right, we're just throwing absolute garbage at it and seeing what happens. Okay, I think everyone's kids are safe. <sighs> Okay, guys, that's it for this video. I think our jobs are safe for now. I guess we'll check in on AI in a bit. Uh, if you guys know of any better AI tools that we could use, let me know. So far, not really too scared. If you press the like button on this video, I will get you your very own TV station. Only catch though is it will only be Kyle Beats on the channel. Does that one work? I don't know, that one's all right. If you made it to the end of the video, comment out down below. Uh, make sure you check out my Patreon if you to support the channel or become a channel member, second channel. I'll see you guys next time.